panelists will now talk about the book. And we have uh, Sintali Goodman first, who's a reporter and assistant editor at the, the People's Archive of India. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Aparna. Uh, thank you, Ra and uh, Zainat, for uh, giving me this opportunity to be uh, part of the panel. So I've uh, written down like my thoughts so that I don't miss out anything. So I'll just read it from what I've written. So this book, um, for me, I felt is an important historical document first and foremost. But what strikes to me as significant in this book is how each story breaks the stereotypical image we have about a hero and the idea of freedom struggle itself. This narrative redefines popular notions of heroism, sacrifice and bravery. Our system has handed over to us through discourses. The shift, the way, the history of freedom struggle is narrated. The fight for independence is told not through the incidents, but through the life stories of ordinary citizens who never gained fame or aspired for one, whose names never made into history books, but who made history by their actions that never, never came to be considered as significant. This book introduces us to those extraordinary personalities who have been systematically erased from our public memory and this contribution unrecognized. The stories take us into the homes, hamlets, streets, villages that rebelled against the British imperialism with the bare minimal resources. What moved me as a reader is not only the lack of recognition of these freedom fighters, but how as a society, we have failed to give their due. For instance, when Lakshmi Panda, the Indian National Army fighter says, look at the work I am doing. I'm cleaning people's houses. I'm embarrassed to tell you or anyone that. Who will think of me as a freedom fighter? She worked at three homes earning 300 to 350 rupees from each plus leftovers. Even after independence, their fight has continued. For Lakshmi Panda, it was for survival. And there were others who have fought against the future landlords, against emergency for farmers' rights. Their continued <coughs> participation and their struggle re-emphasizes what every one of them have reiterated that we have achieved independence and not freedom. Thank you so much.